All right, another game in the series coming up here. This time it's Nin versus Omnath. This one is quite awesome. It's very often a very challenging match, actually, because of how uh, fast and dangerous Omnath is. And if you don't draw a small number of solutions, if they get it on turn two, and she is going first, uh, you can get in a world of trouble. I do have Cyclonic Rift, which helps a lot. But, yep, there's t turn two Omnath, potentially. So I'm figuring Omnath's coming out here, and I'm thinking of the ways I'm going to deal with it. Hoping to top deck a red source so I can fire ice Omnath and uh, the elf. But instead, Hall of Gemstone. Very interesting card. I guess it's a bit like uh, City of Solitude or something to that effect. Um, but a little bit more annoying, actually, against multiple color commanders. This is pretty good in mono green, I suppose. Certainly good against control. So I'm just going to tap something here because I really, really... I'm not going to be able to ice anything on her turn anyway. And um, I need to just draw some cards to get an artifact to run through the factory to copy and so on to get some colored mana. Because things are going to get hairy really quick here. Sky Shard Claim. I think that this is honestly... In my opinion, this is a mistake. I think that you just play Omnath here under Hall of Gemstone. When your opponent's crippled and stunted like that, making a play like that, I think the correct play is just go Omnath, pump it, untap, attack because she knows I can't bounce it on my turn so that means that Omnath is basically next turn provided she has a forest and she doesn't even necessarily need one but she can float one mana play a land sky shard claim pump hit for four next turn hit for eight or nine next turn kill me and that means that I only have I can get up to five mana four to five mana before uh, things are over yeah and swift steel boots not really all that useful I, I would have definitely played Omnath here and just gone for the kill. I mean, I guess she can attack and use Swiss Steel Boots next turn after developing her mana. Yeah, I forgot about the boots. It's not too terrible of a play. Alright, I'm transmuting Muddle for Signet, because we need blue-red mana badly. Elder. Alright, so that definitely I do not agree with. I think at this point in time, you definitely start to bring the pain with Omnath. Wasting more time with the uh, Yab My Elder is just giving your opponent more turn to draw answers. Especially after she saw me just tutor for Is It Signet. That was a really nice draw, drawing the Coalition Relic. I'm just going to put out an in here. It's a potential emergency blocker. Oh, Crypt again. And here comes, and gotcha and draws early. So here comes huge Omnath with Swift Steel Boots on him. Oh, and Mind's Eye on top of that. God, how brutal. Such a good card right now. Such a good card against my deck in general. This is probably one of the top five nightmare cards for Nin to face, given how few ways I have to destroy it and uh, how utterly hosing it is against my commander ability. So she's shown three cards. All right, what are we going to do here? Copy the Crypt. Well, I assume that she's playing Terastodon. I'm sort of banking on that. I guess she's got some... Her deck, deck is definitely quite different from my Omnath deck. Different set of creatures. Definitely not as land destruction based as mine is. Mine is all about LD. I mean, obviously, most of these decks have the potential to do that, but she's missing a few cards that I think are mandatory for this build, like Tooth and Nail, and uh, certainly the Eldrazi's as well. But they're not in here. There's some other stuff instead. But she has the important one, Terastodon. So we're getting him. And I'm going to blow up the Mind's Eye, the Hall of Gemstone. Gave some thought to the Swift Steel Boots, but at the moment, because of Cyclonic Rift, I'm not too scared of it. And uh, obviously I have to get these two off the table in order to function in a meaningful way. And I feel the fact the Workshop is not useful right now either. So I'd rather get it as an emergency blocker, because I don't want to have to chump block with Terastodon yet. This is a totally awful play on my part. Right after destroying Hall of Gemstone, I just uh, think to myself, oh, I'd better use my mana now since I'm not going to be able to use it. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. I just destroyed it and just assumed that it was still in play, which is why I just tap out on my turn with uh, Spell Crumple and Cyclonic Rift in my hand like an idiot. Thank God I drew Force of Will because look what's coming. Whisper Silk Cloak. Game over right there. I feel like a total moron who got very lucky. So she pumps Omnath and does not attack, which I do not understand at all. 
Well, actually, no, I do understand it. She could, uh, I guess, wipe out both my creatures, but given the amount of mana in play, I don't know, it's not terrible. I keep criticizing plays that are not bad. I'm going to stop doing that. All right. Well, we've got the uh, Pact and Negation here. So at the end of turn, she casts Momentous Fall. And this, I am confident, is not a particularly great play. I think that she should... Uh, <laughs> I think she should have sacked the uh, Omnath. Although, um, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe sacking an Elephant isn't too bad. Because I probably have to counter it either way, given that she's down to one card in hand. And she's got to figure that with this much mana and an active Nin the Pain Artist, I can probably... Um, I could probably counter. She's right about that. I hate the fact that Momentous Fall just sacks. And so you can't respond by Pact of Negation. Which would be, I mean, uh, with Cyclonic Rift, which would be amazing. So I think for a little while I'm going to decide I'm just going to draw a bunch of cards here in response and uh, hope to draw a Counterspell, because I'd rather not use the uh, Pact if I can avoid it. Given that we have far from stabilized with this untargetable, insane guy in play. So draw five in response. And we do not get a cheap counter. So unfortunately, I have to just pack it. Here comes Mighty Omnath. We're just chump blocking here. Brainstorm. Ah, Metamorph. Very nice. It's extremely important right now. I can pay that easily because of the copied crypt. Play Shackles first. And that way it gives me a blocker against the uh, Rampaging Omnath. She's floating a million mana here. And I'm kind of secretly hoping that she um, taps down to, you know, one or two mana, hopefully zero, to cast something gigantic. I didn't see if she had Genesis Wave or not when I looked at the deck earlier, but I could daze that. That would be awesome. I do have the ability to power sync for four, basically, which is still pretty solid. Although with infinity mana, I'm not really going to be countering anything. And then I click too fast here like a moron through her attack step instead of stealing the elephant, which is kind of painful. Which forces me to have to chump block with Nin. Rites of Flourishing. All right, that's cool. So I'm going to steal the elephant at the end of the turn. <laughs> Draw land. Draw another land. All right, drew my own crypt here. So we are going to copy the Terastodon. Feel much safer about putting committing two mana crypts to the board too after having just played this. So I can finally get rid of the Swift Steel boots, and I kill the rights, and I kill one of my mana crypts. <laughs> she says, "Are you sure you didn't want to kill Shackles?" Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, play Nin. I'm just gonna send in the big guy. End of turn, floating a grotesque amount of green mana. She says, one sec. Hmm, I see mana draining away. And I'm thinking to myself, man, is she going to cast Genesis Wave here? That would be ridiculous. But she did draw that card, and she gets Vorinclex. I was completely 100% sure that she would get Woodfall Primus, certainly when I saw 8, and try to kill the Shackles. So I was completely set with the uh, end of the Royal on my own Shackles plan, which would have worked quite well, because I could just steal the, uh, I don't know, I could steal Elephant and block Primus or block it with this thing. Although the Primus, I guess, does get to be used twice, which is unfortunate. But it would buy me plenty of time. Giant mashing thing coming in, 9-9. Nine, nine. It's very kind of her to attack, to let me uh, kill the Elephant for free, though. So, I've got... Six islands in hand are in play, and one more in hand, which means Vorinclex is going to be joining the winning team. Come here, Vorinclex. She floats a gazillion man in response, but now I've got this thing. And if there's one creature that Nin likes to have in play, it's Vorinclex. She says, I'm not sure, but my f brain forgot about dual lands. I guess she didn't realize that I could fetch a dual land with the, uh, the Arid Mesa. I've got her down to 28. And I'm just going to end the Royal Omnath right now. The reason I'm doing that is because, um, not that I don't have any counters in play, but she has so much mana in her pool right now that uh, these it just makes Mana Lake and Days do nothing. So I figure I might as well just bounce it, the creature right now, and force her to recast it, um, which buys me not only a lot of time, but if she does top deck one of those huge spells, I actually have an opportunity to counter it. 
pieces. GG should have grabbed Woodfall. I said I could have still bounced his shackles. Yes, but I didn't know that was in your hand. But I did know what you had in play. And yeah, that was correct. So I made plenty of mistakes, and I guess she made one judgment call at the end. Uh, fortunately, Nin did its thing. She taps a ton of mana here. What's going on, Ophelia? Ah. The game, the game ended in a draw. Eh, I don't think so. Yeah, at the end of the turn, I just, um, she was, I mean, she just had no prayer at this point. Um, I just killed her with damage in the next turn. I think I just came over with, uh, Cyclonic Rifted and smashed her with all these guys for, for the victory. But, pretty awesome game. Definitely was very scary in the early going with the, uh, with the Hall of Gemstone Mind's Eye giant commander thing going on. I got very lucky after making that mistake and top decked Force of Will to, um, to stop the, what would have been the lethal equipment. And I was able to bring it home from there. But pretty, pretty awesome dramatic game. Got another one coming. See you in a bit.